Hi guys, I'm Chloe. I'm going to be doing a makeup tutorial on something a little bit different than usual. I'm going to be doing a colorful makeup look instead of more of a natural makeup look because I realized that lately I've been doing a lot of natural makeup and stuff, so let's just get right into it. <laughs> so, for the bait, well, first we're going to start off with the eyes because with colorful eyeshadow it gets a lot of follow and stuff, and I don't want to get like stuff all over foundation and stuff that I already did. So, start off using the NYX HD Studio Photogenic Concealer in Green. And this just works really well under blue eyeshadows and stuff. Makes them look more bright. Haha, <laughs> look, ridiculous. I'm only applying this to my eyelid. Can we apply it in the crease and stuff? It makes you look ridiculous once the look is actually done. So, it looks so weird. Kind of wipe away when I don't need it. I have green all over my fingers. <laughs> so, Gonna be actually for most of the tutorial. I'm gonna be using palette from Rue 21. They don't sell this anymore though. But this is the only palette I have with colorful eyeshadows because I don't use them much. The inside just looks like this, except without all the smudges and stuff. Because <laughs> I, I, I use this a lot. Okay, to start off. I'm using kind of like a darkish, bright periwinkleish color. I just stuck my thumb in one of the eyeshadows. I don't I don't know where to wipe that on the makeup bag for now. Okay, I'm gonna be just taking that on an Eco Tools large eye brush. It has the blue eyeshadow on it. Just gonna okay, kind of set that base with it. So we're only applying that where the base is. Doing the same with the other eye, of course. so crazy okay so next I'm going to be taking a bright violet and you can use mattes for this look I'm using mostly using mostly shimmers because all of these are shimmers and they're the only colorful eyeshadows I have so I'm just using this purple and it kind of has a little bit of pink undertones can't really see it on camera but it's definitely more purple than pink Blended very well, except the purple isn't showing up on my eyeballs. Not bad so far. It will definitely get better once you put more eyeshadow and makeup on. And it won't look like a total craziness like you live in the 80s. But I mean, I like the 80s. They're just, their makeup was just totally crazy. This eye actually looks much better than this eye. So it's the fact that it's like. So it's like way too blended and that sounds so weird because like way too blended like I didn't think that was possible. Okay. 
there's not enough purple showing up on the other eye and I don't know why. Just take a lot of that purple if it's not showing up and just buff that into the crease. Okay. <laughs> and Oh yeah, I didn't tell you what brush this is. This is the Eco Tools Angled Crease Brush. Next, I'm going to be taking an Eco Tools Petite Eye Shading Brush. And I'm going to be taking a dark teal shade. It's like a really dark green. Like, but when you put it on, it's more like a dark, like, bluish green. It's more like a dark turquoise. Putting that half of my eye. Sounds so weird. The outer half of my eye. Usually I say the outer half of my lid, but it's like going into the crease a little bit too. I don't know what to say anymore. <laughs> I'm crazy. Why is this eye showing up more? So weird. Then I'm just taking that ankle crease brush again. With a little bit of purple. Just a little bit. Just blending that. Not like, but like blend. Not like blending the outer corner, but just like blending that into my crease. After we finish the eyes, too, I'm just going to take a makeup button and go, <laughs> goodbye. <laughs> Taking that petite eye shading brush with a little bit, like a little bit more of green. That greenish turquoise color and just applying this to the same area. Just to darken it up a little bit. Okay, then I will be taking the Eco Tools smudge brush. Taking, oh, I'm dropping everything, guys. It's weird. Um, yeah, I'm gonna be taking this hot pink eyeshadow. I'm like out of the frame right now. Putting that. In my outer V. This feels so weird. I'm putting like a bright eyeshadow on my outer V. Like usually I put like black or dark brown. This is a not all. It isn't shiny. A lot because it's not showing up, guys. Okay, let's do the other eye. <laughs> These eyeshadows are not that pigmented. Serious, guys, I would not recommend Rue 21 makeup unless you guys are like beginners and just starting out with makeup and you want to get like really cheap makeup because their makeup is like super cheap but it's not good quality at all it's like so weird seeing myself with colorful makeup okay i'm just gonna take a makeup wipe i'm using the burt's bees pink grape Fruit facial cleansing palettes. I accidentally just took two. What do I do now? I'm just going to clean up my eyes a little bit more. 
make it look more structured and neat. Just gonna blend it out. Yeah, my inner corner and underneath my eyes. Ah, guys, what have I done? Now we're going to go in underneath my eyes on my bottom lash line. I just almost fell. Okay, just make sure that the smudge brush is clean. I'm just wiping it off on my makeup wipe. Just make sure all the pink stuff is out of there. Out of there. So, Next, I'm just taking this, just like a silverish, like metallic blue. I don't know how to describe it, guys. Really don't. And none of the eyeshadows I'm using right now are matte. These are all shimmers. They're all sparkly. Okay, just applying this to the inner half. I feel like Jeffree Star. Okay, then taking this, like an aqua, like a light aqua shade. that to the outer. Then, cleaning off the brush. And then, taking that green eyeshadow again. I'm going to be applying this closer to my waterline. But not like in my waterline because it's not a good idea to put eyeshadow in your waterline. That's what eyeliner's for, so. That just adds a little bit more definition. I'm just gonna blend this a little bit up. look a little bit like this. Then I'm going to be taking an Avon Glimmer Stick Eyeliner. This is in the shade Starry, wait, okay, Starry Night Blue, which is a navy because I don't have any other colorful eyeliners. I mean, this isn't really colorful. It's like a navy blue, but since most of the eyeshadow we're using is like aqua and blue, it has more definition to eye and really pulls the look together. Roast watch. I, I I don't know. What brush should I use? Oh, I use too much dark eyeshadows with that brush. Okay, and then I'm just wiping off my petite eye shading brush. Getting all that dark eyeshadow off that. 
no, I, I forgot to do something. Okay. And then I'm taking this light lilac -y lavender eyeshadow on the petite eye shading brush. Just applying this to the center of my lid. Just to highlight my eyes because I've been using some darkish eyeshadows. Just so I need to highlight. Then just kind of rubbing that in with my finger, trying not to disturb any of the other eyeshadow because it took like 15 minutes oh wait no it did this video is going to be so long guys okay and then I'm taking a liquid eyeliner I'm using the NYX vinyl liquid eyeliner no I shouldn't use that eyeliner okay yeah I'll use this eyeliner I'm thinking about using the blue pencil eyeliner and then I realized oh wait no that's totally not going to show up with all the blue eyeshadow and then just wiping off most of the eyeliner. Just to, my face isn't in the frame. Okay. And then just wiping off most of that eyeshadow just to get a really I mean eyeliner. Yeah, eyeshadow. Eyeliner just to get a more precise line. Swinging it out. I just realized I do winged eyeliner in like every single tutorial. Because you know what? I can't help it. Doing eyeliner on camera is so hard. That's one eye. It's beautiful. Just getting a little bit more eyeliner, then wiping most of it off again. I get more eyeliner and then I wipe it all off. I'm totally normal. I absolutely hate messing up my eyeliner on camera. So, I'm gonna wipe some of that off just to fix it because, yeah. Oh, haha, <laughs> I'm normal, I swear. I don't even know why I would say that. I don't like normal. Normal boring. Trying to redo the eyeliner. Okay, yeah, that's better. It's more curved than the other one, but I don't want to keep you guys here forever. So, I should have curled my eyes before that. Okay. I'm just wiping off any other fallout. Or eyeliner, for that matter. And I'm just curling my eyelashes. I'm not going to do mascara yet. Then, I'm going to start with my eyebrows. First, I'm just going to brush them out. I've got to highlight my inner corner. Guys, what's going on today? Okay, I'm taking Maybelline the Nudes palette. Using this color. I couldn't tell I used a lot. I've actually hit pan. It's the first eyeshadow I've ever hit pan with. Highlighting my now kinda. Then brushing my eyebrows.
then I am just going to take Maybelline the Nudes palette. I can. Where did I just put that? Oh no, guys. Oh no, I lost it. I lost it. Oh, it's right here. <laughs> wow. Okay, that that was really that was really pathetic. But I'll even admit that was pathetic. Okay, and then I'm just going to take the cool tone. Ooh, the lighting's really good. Okay, the cool tone shade right there. In most of my videos, when I use this, you can't, like, even tell what the color is because it's, like, so weird. The lighting's actually really good right now. Usually, the thing I use to film, like, is totally insane. just dropped something and I don't know what it was. And you can just do your brows however you want. Just do my everyday brow look. Not every day, I don't do my makeup every day, but you know, just normal old brows for me. I kind of have thick brows already, so I don't really need to fill them in much. Just like to. Face makeup. Where's my concealer? It's right here. Like, uh, I have all my makeup in front of me. Because, like, I line up all my makeup before my videos and stuff. And I'm just like, where did I put my concealer? Okay, so to start off, I'm just going to use the Neutrogena Shine Control Primer. It's like backwards. Just like you totally can't so tell what it's saying. At least it's backwards right now. I don't know if it's usually backwards. <laughs> I'm running out. That, tapping that on my face and then I'll rub, rub that in. Rubbing it in. Okay, good. So I just totally rubbed out my eyeliner I was just like what have I done okay and then I'm taking the why does this look so thick okay the Maybelline New York Dream DB Pure Solicitous Acid Acne Treatment BB Cream in Light yeah you can use a heavier foundation if you want I just don't want to why did I apply that to my finger? I usually like apply it to. I'm also using my finger. Oh my god, what is wrong with me today? Usually I use a brush to do this. And I'm just rubbing that in with a base foundation brush. I don't know what brand this is by, so sorry. 
and don't forget to blend into your neck because you don't want to be walking around with a weird foundation line every single day. Even if it's like the perfect match for your skin tone, it'll look like way too perfect if you don't like blend it into your neck. Even though, I mean, you want it to look perfect, so I, I, I don't know. Just do whatever you want. I just know that it annoys me like so much when I see someone with like a totally noticeable foundation line. I'm just like, what have you done? Yes, doing my makeup. Okay, so. Now I'm just taking the Dream Lumi Touch Concealer by Maybelline New York in the shade Ivory. You can use your skin tone, obviously. I'm just this is my skin tone, so. <coughs> just putting it on the triangle, putting it down the side of my nose to slim it down. Forehead, to highlight. Upper lip, highlight. Chin, highlight, brush my nose, to highlight, this to cover up. <laughs> I'm normal, I swear. No, I'm really not normal, guys. I'm really in. Okay, and then I'm just taking that foundation brush again. Again. If you guys want any tutorials specifically, you can comment them down below too, or any nail tutorials. I do nail stuff too, I just haven't really posted anything yet because nobody's commented things and I prefer doing makeup. Also, I'm going to do the next for a box, um, it's for a play unboxing when I get a box, so it's going to be in like... 9, 10, 11, sometime like that. It's like one or two weeks. So now I'm taking the Stay Matte But Not Flat Powder Foundation in Soft Beige. It's crushed. I crush everything accidentally. I drop everything. Because I drop my blush too. So, any powder foundation? any powders link them below like drugstore powders because I can't afford high-end because I'm not rich like some people okay then I'm taking my contour kit my NYX contour kit that wasn't noticeable before Okay, and then with my foundation brush, I'm just mixing together the white and the yellow, using mostly the white. Oh, I didn't even like show that. The white and the yellow, mostly the white to highlight and brighten. The yellow to brighten, the white to highlight. But the yellow is too dark for my skin tone, so I to do a lot of white to make it look normal, even though I'm not normal. So. I just talked like so fast. Okay, I'm taking this shade. It's called Sculpt. It's really sad that I know all the shades. That was really loud. Contouring in the places I would usually contour. You can contour where you want. Just contouring my cheekbones, forehead, nose, jawline, the huge. I'm really sad that I call that the huge. It's like every single place you contour. I'm a sad makeup lover. My nose.
And for highlighting, I am just going to, these brushes are like, I'm just going to wipe off my brush first because it has eyeshadow on it. And yes, I'm going to use an eyeshadow brush to highlight. I don't care if it's not normal, please do not comment it down below that it is not normal because I know it's not normal. You know, probably, no one will probably comment down below, but whatever. Okay, taking Ice Queen. Yes, Ice Queen. Actually, no, I'm going to use blush first. Using the NYX High Definition Blush in Hampton. It is crushed, too. Like I told you before. Because I crush everything I own. Accidentally, I swear. Ah, I almost dropped it. Probably wouldn't, but it was like open. Like, you guys are probably like, um, why would that matter? It's already crushed. Yeah, no, it was already open, so it would have dumped everywhere in this carpet. That would have been bad. Okay. If you guys want a makeup collection video, like this, because. I was thinking about it, but I don't, I didn't know if you guys would want to see it, so. Try to get this to five like, no, that's not going to happen. Okay, now I'm going to highlight with the same shade as before. I use this a lot. It's like almost gone. I need to get refill for it. This brush is really good for highlighting. It's the Eco Tools large eye brush, but it's like it picks up the colors and it like highlights you so well. Which is really weird because it's like an eyeshadow brush, but it does. I need to highlight my brow bone, but I really don't want to. Now I'm just taking the Soft Matte Lip Cream, and the, the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the shade Cairo. Just like a pure nude. It's like the same as that color as my skin tone. I recommend these lip creams to anybody who's a beginner, too, because it's really nice and lightweight. And they're really cheap. They're like six bucks. This doesn't sound that cheap, but it's actually pretty cheap for the quality you're getting. This is actually a really good beginner brand. And then I'm just using Great Lash. Lots of lashes by Maybelline New York. You know, the one that everybody in the world has. I'm just taking that glimmer stick, just lining my upper lash line, just to make it a little bit more colorful, if that's possible. Which it probably isn't, but look needs to be colorful, okay? It was my goal. And then I'm just going to tight line my eyes with this. It's 
Because using Black's tight line is so unoriginal. Then, just taking my. Where is it? And to lose everything. Seriously, did I like. Oh, wait, is that the thing that dropped? Yep. We'll be right back. <laughs> I dropped it. Okay, so I'm taking my flat shader brush. Oh, there's a lot of stuff in here. Okay. And the uh, soft light from the NYX. Um, ooh, I hit pan. <gasps> I hit pan. We'll be using this. I hit pan on camera. That's amazing. And that is it. So if you enjoyed, please give a thumbs up and thumbs up if you would like to see a makeup collection video because, yeah. So, and comment down below if you would like to see any other videos, um, like what videos you would like to see. And please subscribe if you would like to see more of me. So, bye. Hope you enjoyed.